What's up everybody, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be just a quick overview of the recent news that we have received today uh, from the Division 2 website. It is on the PTS that is now live. It is currently live and they have made a few changes, quite a few changes, very interesting changes that you guys would like to see and I know you would like to see. So make sure to watch all this whole video as we've got a lot of changes and possible changes that we need to talk about. So on the Division 2 website, you're just going to go straight to the news section. I will leave a link in the description. Just click on it and you're going to, it'll take you to Reddit through a link that says PTS Patch Notes. Now we're just going to quickly go over all of these. You guys will, I recommend going through it yourself and reading every single bit of it. I'm just going to go over the parts that I think are really big and going to make a massive difference to the game. So, gameplay changes. So, they've added some missing blueprints for aces and eights. Now, this has been plaguing me for a while. So, it's nice to see that because I needed the knee pads for a bit. So, it's good to see that. So, now moving on to PvP. PvP is going to be the main uh, state of the game this week. Last week, it was loot, gear, and changes in PvE. So, we're not going to go over too much of that, even though it is in here. So, the Dark Zone. Gear normalization. Player stats will no longer be normalized. And agents will receive their full recalibration bonuses at endgame. That's very interesting. Now, normalization to me is quite good because currently in the ODZ, all the people that are there are the people who have good RNG and are quite lucky with gear. So they go in there because they have more armor than everybody else. So they kill people and it makes them feel good. Good for them. Their RNG is good. Some of us don't have good RNG. Um, but it is what it is. And I, I don't know. I feel like some of the best fights are in normalized. So I don't know. I've never been too much against it I, I am against uh, nerfing the stats to the ground so that it should do what they did in division one and kind of like balance it and raise it up raise the lower players stats up so I don't know uh, we're gonna have to see how it plays off in the PTS all right so players below gear score 500 will still receive stat boost to allow an easier entry into the dark zone okay the UI has been changed a little bit in PVE to help with normalization changes that's pretty good supply drops we've got a updated thieves den vendor which is very nice hopefully we can see some better uh, vendors in the dark zone because currently we don't have a lot of uh, vendors in the dark zone at all so only the ones got the guys by the entrances that's going to be interesting to see it'll be nice to have more content for the vendor resets i'm game for that we all we all should be and you can also uh swap dz resources with the networks so that's going to be pretty nice to see that Dark Zone matchmaking, a very big change. So we've got some changes to the Dark Zone matchmaking, which should ensure higher populations in all Dark Zones. I wonder how they're going to do that. It's going to be interesting to see, you know, because the player base has dwindled a little bit, it's a bit low. So the DZ is quite empty. So this is a great change. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm going to give this a test, see how good the servers are, if I can pop into good servers every single time. All right, so the general changes in the dark zone are that their extractions will now be ambushed by npcs i don't think i'm too keen on that guys uh, i like pvp in the dark zone i don't think we should have any more npcs they kind of just bother me a little bit but i guess it is what it is you let me know in the comments whatever you guys think about these changes just let me know in the comments uh, I've, i don't know i've got mixed feelings but there are a lot of things to talk about so let's just carry on conflict this disappointed me quite a lot. I'm not even going to lie. Conflict is very disappointing. The changes that they made. The first thing that I read was added new sound effects in the countdown. Like, I, we don't care about that. End of match rewards. Players will now always earn a reward for playing a match. Oh, great. Additional rewards will be given ranking winning. We know that. Added new loading screens. That doesn't help us. Added new match start. Updated boost signs and feedback. Updated victory loss presentation. Added new music for the winning team. Like, that's not what we want. What is all of this? Uh, PvP projects. Um, I'm not interested in that. We want different maps. We want more type game modes. We want things like that. Like give us last stand. Like I don't understand what they're doing with this. This is just a complete waste. But anyways, you know what? We'll see what they can do. Uh, this is all just not set in stone. It's just the PTS. We can get the changes that we want. So we're just going to be patient. <laughs> I've got to be patient because I'm not very patient right now. I want to see what happens, so I'm going to be doing a lot of testing in the PTS, so make sure to stick around, guys. I will be streaming it very soon. I've been very busy lately, so just keep that in mind. Control points, okay, I'm not going to go over this. You guys can go over all of this. All of these things I have mentioned in the previous video I made, I will leave a link in the description for that one. That was about the uh, last week's state of the game with all the PvE looting and all the cal recalibration changes. So the recalibration hasn't been changed too much. We're going to see what they can do in the PTS if they maybe buff it. That's what I'm hoping for. 
uh, crafting, we all know what's changed there. If you want to read it, just read it. We know that stash space has been increased. Brand sets, been over all of that. All right, so this is where it gets very interesting. So skills, seeker mine is now being buffed. I don't understand that. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. How the hell has seeker mines been buffed? They are already one of the strongest skills. So we're getting 20% and 30% increased damage in, for the cluster mines. In PvE, this is going to be unbelievable. My detonation build, my hybrid build that I made recently, is going to be absolutely overpowered in PvP and PvE. Let me know what you guys think about these changes. Uh, the increased cooldowns for the blinder and the cluster, that's not really going to do much. Because we're just going to mitigate that with more skill haste. So I don't know what they're trying to do there, but... It'll probably make the cooldowns a bit higher. That's not going to change the fact that we're getting massive amounts of damage. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Firefly, we don't really mind about that one too much. The turret, these, this is very interesting. So now DTE will affect the turrets. The assault turret and the uh, drone as well, the striker drone. So that'll give us, if you guys have 100% DTE, this will add on top of the BTSU damage as well. So we're going to be getting massive amounts of damage from the, the striker builds, the turret builds. The, they're going to be even stronger so i like to see that that that's a nice change you know dte should be should made be made viable in your your dps skills so i think that's a great idea that that's very nice one of the best changes i've seen to the skills the eagle bearer has been nerfed by 15 percent this is a very big topic in the division community and i would like to know what you guys think about it i am on the fence i don't know uh, I personally think in PvP it's good, but I think in PvE they should just leave it where it is. But PvP, you know, a lot of people can't get it. Some people have done the raid 200 times and they haven't gotten the Eagle Bearer. That's just unfair. So same thing what I was saying earlier about gear in the ODZ. If you try your best and you don't get it, you shouldn't be punished for that, you know. There should be areas where you don't get punished, but this gun can be taken to all PvP areas. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's all just opinion based, but I think it's a good change. So this is where I'm getting excited now, guys. Talents. So we've got some crazy changes to talents and buffs, nerfs, and new ones. So these are the new ones. Spark, Vigilance, and Concussion. Spark, if you do skill damage or grenades, it gives you 15% weapon damage. Let's go. That sounds very strong on the backpack. Vigilance gain 25% weapon damage. Uh, this doesn't seem too strong. This is a chest talent. I feel like if you get shot, if you receive damage, the you disables this buff for five seconds and you're going to get shot a lot so i can see this being good for sniper or rifle builds but it's yet to be proven so we're going to see in the pts so the gear talent changes so on the ropes has been nerfed it's now 15 from 25 percent don't worry about that they worded it wrong it's been decreased not increased so that's going to be that's going to mean it's going to be rubbish because at the end of the day uh, cooldowns are very low so i don't think on the ropes is going to be good anyway it's actually not too strong right now to be honest 15 percent critical has been buffed critical damage up from five that's a massive buff uh we're not going to go over too many of these creeping death is very nice that helps with the btsu gloves it's now 25 meters from 10 that's crazy trauma center dialed in spotter has been nerfed uh, to 15 percent from 20 wicked you get 15 percent damage for 20 seconds that's crazy strong i'm, I'm looking forward to that Compensated weapon damage increased by 10%. This has been nerfed down from 15. Uh, this is weird because that just makes all the other ones viable and we're not going to be used compensated. So if you guys have good compensated gloves, say bye bye because they're not good anymore. Obliterate, opportunistic, kneecap, bloodlust, gunslinger to order, surgical. Entrench is one of the best rifle knee pad talents. So it's nice to see it get another buff. So this is going to be really, really strong. I'm looking forward to using this in PvE, maybe even try PvP. So now the weapons, the weapon talents. This is unbelievable. What have they done? Whenever your armor is depleted, gain 50% damage for 20 seconds. Naked, what's happened to naked? Like This is going to be absolutely broken. I, this is the first thing I'm going to test in the PTS, guys. I'm looking forward to testing this. Holy moly, that's going to be insane. Breadbasket, there's a few things here. Just go over it, guys. I recommend going over all of these by yourself and just read them so you have an idea. I've gone over most of these. Uh, killing a target within 7 meters grounds, 50% weapon damage for 10 seconds. SMGs and shotguns are going to be crazy. The, all of these buffs are just unbelievable. We have got such massive, massive buffs and nerfs. I can't even believe it. Eyeless has gone to from 20% to 30%. Crazy. Uh, Ranger, removal, removed attributes requirements. 
so a lot of the times ranger would be inactive especially with dps builds or something like that so this is nice to see as well because i, I never had ranger proc and it was quite a problem so a lot of changes here um just go over all of this for yourself guys i just wanted to go over all the main stuff there's a lot of bug fixes and the rest of it's just you know updates to the problems with the game that people have been encountering so just go over it and just have a look i really do recommend it so yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think of the pts notes uh, hopefully this doesn't break the game because there's a lot of crazy strong talents uh, I, I don't understand how that's going to work but anyways we're going to see so i'm going to be doing a lot of testing in the pts i'm going to do some live streaming when i get the chance to i'll be very very busy at work but anyways guys thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy it please leave a like make sure to subscribe to my channel i thought i will always be a division 2 content creator as i have a passion for the game so anyways guys thank you for watching and i will be seeing you agents in the next one peace out boys